Hi, my name is Justin Shelp, and I'm the founder here at PatchMyPC. We develop a third-party patch management solution that integrates into Microsoft Configuration Manager and Intune. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can switch your WSUS server, which would be your software update point in Config Manager, from HTTP to HTTPS. Um, so this has been a big topic. Uh, there was a Microsoft article a few months back about how man-in-the-middle attacks could potentially occur over a WSOS server running HTTP. Um, so it's been kind of a hot topic and uh, this video is just gonna show you how you can switch that over so that your clients scanning against your WSOS server are doing so over SSL. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing that we'll look at is our current software update point. So we can take a quick look. We can see that we do not require SSL. Now you don't wanna just check this box unless you're actually ready to accept HTTPS or SSL connections. So essentially what's happening is clients are scanning over port 8530. So if I were to go and look at IIS, I can look at my WSUS administration website, and I can also validate that we do not currently have an SSL certificate. So we're not in a place where we could actually switch this over at all. Uh, if we check that box, basically it would fail and clients wouldn't be able to scan because we haven't done the prerequisites, which we're about to cover. So uh, within the description of the video as well, I am going to include some resources. So for example, we'll link out to the PKI certificates for servers for Config Manager. Um, so what we specifically need is an SSL certificate, uh, and that's going to allow us to switch our software update point, which would be running over IIS, so that clients can uh, use a secure connection to get there. Um, so that's going to be uh, one link that we'll include, just kind of describes the purpose of that. We're also going to include the uh, PKI certificate template creation guide. So this will be when I go into my certificate authority, create the template, set the permissions and deploy it. Um, this will be also documented in Microsoft Docs here as well, uh, which you can access. And then lastly, we will include a link which describes how we actually switch WSUS to require SSL. So that's going to include when we go into IIS and set the directories to require SSL, uh, as well as the WSUS util command for configuring SSL on our WSUS server. So as far as our lab environment, we're currently on our site server. This is also running our software update point site system. So this is currently demo one, and this is the machine that we're logged into right now. If I jump over, I also have a domain controller. This is where my certificate authority snap-in is running. Um, this could really be run on any computer that has the certificate authority snap-in for Active Directory Certificate Services. So this will generally likely be the method you use for creating your SSL certificates if you're in a Windows environment. All right, so we're gonna start here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Certificate Authority. Go ahead and open that up and click on the Certificate Templates and then Manage. Um, so this is gonna be where we duplicate the default web server certificate, which would be the steps listed here. Um, so creating the actual template is going to be what we're about to do. So back over here, we want to right click on web server and then duplicate that. One important note, we do need to make sure the authority level is set to Windows Server 2003 for Config Manager SSL certificates for WSUS. Um, so this will be called out within the documentation here. You want to make sure that compatibility level, at least at, at the date of this recording, is not newer than 2003. Okay. Uh, next, under the subject name, this should be the case already. You want to make sure that that is supply in the request. That's going to be where we set the DNS name to our uh, fully qualified domain name of the server uh, to secure that uh, HTTPS traffic. Another thing that I would definitely recommend is under the general tab, we're going to want to give this a better name. So we'll call it config manager. IS certificate template example. This is arbitrary. This can be whatever you want. Uh, and then you can also set how long you want the SSL certificate to be valid for. So one thing you want to make sure you're set is once it's about to expire, that you have some type of reminder to renew the cert. Otherwise, clients will not be able to scan against your WSUS server once this happens. Go. And then lastly, under the security tab, this is where you control which servers can actually enroll. Um, so one thing to note is that in the example, they do mention that it's probably best to use a security group. So, you know, creating a security group where any of your site systems that run IIS 
would be part of that group. Now, in my case, I'm going to just add an individual computer account directly because in this example, I only have one computer, and that also makes it so I wouldn't have to reboot the server in order for group membership to be applied if I use the security group. Now, if this is production and you have multiple site systems where you may want to issue an SSL cert, it would probably make sense to use a group in that case uh, for better control of that. But essentially what we're going to do here, since I'm using a computer, I'm going to add that here and then type in demo1. So that's the name of the computer that is running WSUS. And then we would want to give it read and enroll. So if this was a security group, you would simply use the group and give it read and enroll in that case. Um, but like I mentioned, if you did just add a computer to that group, you likely would have to reboot that for that membership to apply before you could actually request it on the server side. All right, so I'll go ahead and apply that and we should be okay. So let me go ahead and close out of my templates. And then I'm gonna right click again and choose new, new certificate template to issue. We're then gonna choose that template that we just created and then click okay. And that's actually gonna make it available for computers to enroll. So now I'm gonna log back uh, over to my uh, site system that's running WSUS. And we're gonna open up certlm.msc. So that's the local certificate snap in on this computer. Okay. So from here, we're gonna open up the personal store on the computer. Um, we can see we currently do not have any certificate that's specific to a web server. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and right click and choose to request a new certificate. And that's gonna be looking at our certificate authority. Now, one thing to note, we didn't really dig too deep into PKI and the certificate authority, but there is a separate video I have if you want to go through setting up PKI in a lab, as well as switching your entire config manager site over to HTTPS. There is a video that describes that entire process. For this one, we're only interested in the WSUS component and just switching that over. So it's not quite uh, as complex. So we're going to go ahead and do next here. Active Directory. All right, so here's the template that we just created. So since we had the uh, subject to supply in the request, you can see that we do need to go and actually fill out some data. It can't just be automatically enrolled. So what we need to add here is the DNS name. And I generally like to add both the host name, so demo1, and then you definitely want the fully qualified domain name. So in my case, my Active Directory domain is just contoso.local, um, but this would be the fully qualified domain name that this uh, server would be a part of. Second, I do recommend adding both a friendly name and description. So we'll call this uh, WSUS slash config manager IS certificate. So I'm gonna copy that and add it in the description as well, and then choose okay and then enroll. Okay, so at that point we have our certificate. So we can see the friendly name. We can also see the template that it was issued from, uh, and that looks good. So at this point, what we wanna do next is actually configure the binding so that the website for WSUS can actually use this certificate. So if I go ahead and choose on edit bindings, port 8531, this will be the HTTPS type. If your WSUS is running on the default website, this will likely be port 443, but most cases it's probably gonna be 8531. And then we wanna go ahead and choose our web server certificate that we just created, choose okay, and then close. Now to actually validate this works, um, the quickest setting, if you just click browse over here and choose browse port 8531 HTTPS, you can uh, go ahead and browse out. Now, the only thing to note, this is currently local host is probably gonna be the default one it opens as. So in our case, you would wanna definitely set that to fully qualified domain name. Otherwise you will get a, you know, a DNS like common name invalid. So once we do that though, oh, oh let's try again, demo1.contoso.local. Uh, we can see that we now uh, can browse to the website. Now this is perfectly fine that you're getting a error because it doesn't allow uh, directory browsing at the default website for WSUS. The important thing is that you wanna validate that your connection is secure. Um, so if this is IE, it might look a little bit different, but
but basically you want to validate the connection secure and it's trusted. Um, just as an example, if we do this in Internet Explorer, since it's a server, you should see something similar where you can validate the certificate is trusted. So if you get like an error, like it's uh, an invalid C name or directory name, it might be that you didn't add the correct DNS name within the server. All right, so that looks good. So next up, we wanna actually require WSUS to only work over SSL. So this is gonna be the part of the docs where it calls for uh, configuring the virtual directories to require SSL. Um, so we only wanna do this with the following directories. So if I come back over here, API remoting 3.0. Uh, so we're gonna to wanna to go to SSL settings. And then we wanna require SSL and then click apply. Now, this is actually very similar to any public website. Uh, you know, for example, patchmypc.com. If we go here, all we're really doing is making sure that clients need to access the website over HTTPS so it's encrypted. One thing to note is that we do not care about client certificates. So there's nothing really secure about a WSUS website that you wanna validate or authenticate using a client certificate unlike a management point where it would require a client authentication. Uh, but for WSUS, we only wanna require the connection is secure. Uh, we're then gonna repeat the same thing for client web service. So require SSL, apply. Uh, DSS uh, auth web service, require SSL and then apply. Um, then we also wanna do the same for the server sync service, require, and then lastly, for the simple uh, auth web service, require SSL and then apply. The other four directories for content, inventory, reporting, and self-update, these should not require SSL. Um, they should just be the default option here. Now that that's done, we then wanna open a command prompt as administrator. And then we wanna CD to program files, update services, tools, and then we wanna use the wsusutil command. So wsusutil, uh, we wanna run the configure SSL uh, option. So we're gonna run uh, wsusutil, configure SSL, and then you wanna enter the fully qualified domain name of the server that you wanna to switch to SSL. So in my case, that's demo1.contoza.local. We'll go ahead and uh, run that command. And we can see that it has switched the website so that WSUS will only work over SSL. Now, I did have the registry open ahead of time. We can see that under the uh, software Microsoft Update Services server setup, use SSL was previously set to zero. So if we go ahead and refresh this, we can see that using SSL is now set to one, um, which means that it's requiring SSL here. We can also see the port number is now 8530 for the decimal value. Now, next, what we want to do is switch it so that we tell our config managers to use SSL for their software update point scanning. So we've done everything on the WSUS side in order to facilitate SSL, but now we want to actually make our config manager client scan over SSL. So within your software update point, just check the require SSL and then choose apply, and then okay. Within this, when you configure that, that's going to trigger the WCM component um, the WSUS uh, configuration manager component, wcm.log on your site server, that's gonna trigger it to swap the uh, WSUS server and try to connect over SSL. So we can see that um, it did successfully configure it. Um, so that means that it's, it's connecting and working fine over SSL. Now, one thing that we'll do is jump over to our clients just to validate on a couple, just so spot check to make sure things are working. Um, now, this setting can take a little bit of time depending on when your clients get policy. Um, but jumping over to a client, um, if you look at the location services.log, this is where it tells you which WSUS server your clients are scanning against. So we can see this one was demo one, and it was over port 8530 over HTTP. Um, it just so happened it looks like this client did perform a scan and a policy check in right about the time we switched it. So this actually worked pretty quickly where it, uh, it actually picked up that change quite fast and now it's swapped over to HTTPS. Um, so over here, if we look at scan agent, 
you can just do a quick validation that the client, if you, if you come into your Config Manager app and Control Panel, you can trigger a scan. And then just watch that scan agent log. Basically, you're just gonna wanna make sure that when that scan happened, it came back and was able to complete it successfully. That just validates the client is able to secure and it trusts the web server certificate that WSUS is now using. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.